Hey, welcome everyone to the Los Gemal. Um, we're going to do it in English today because of our special guest, Suleiman Hartzenberg, the newbie on the blog. Suleiman, my man, thanks for your time and welcome to the show. No, it's, no, it's really it's a privilege to be here and I feel and I feel good to be here. I'm happy about it. I'm also happy here, man. Look, um, it's very seldom we see someone coming out of the junior ranks, especially out of Varsity Cup and going straight into a URC. We'd see maybe guys going to Curry Cup, going to um, a team like Rikos or Pumas. But I mean, you just came and you just did, did the business, man. I mean, how big was the step up for you to go from playing for UCT up to the Stormers? Um, so with UCT, it was just, it's been like, it was good. Of, uh, I had time to settle in a bit, so I had the whole season. So that was, it was really good. But then I had a bit of the junior box as well this year. So that kind of helped me a bit with like with pace and like understanding the more, like the, um, the nitty gritty of it, like more the tactical side of the game. And like, so with, with those like physical, uh, with the physicality of the varsity cup, and like the speed and the tactical side of the junior box, it kind of helped me with with a bit of the stormers. But with that, within saying that though, I had a lot of help of the senior players like uh, Ruana, Siabelo, Sinatla, and all of those people. Like they really like took me under the wing and kind of explained like the structure and certain things to me and like helped me with my game as well. So that kind of made the step up a bit easier. But it's, it was still a bit of a, a difficult one, like with regarding the pace and the physicality, and like it was, it was really different. No, I can imagine it. They took you under their wing, and now you're on the wing. It's funny how it works out. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I mean, like I said, in a matter of weeks, you know, you became a breakout star for the Stormers, and I mean, there's nothing more special probably than putting on that jersey for the first time. I mean, there was in Stellenbosch as well, with your brother. On a stadium where you tore it up for Marty's back in the day. I mean, how was the feeling for you for the first time to wear, well, not this jersey, but to wear this emblem on your chest for the first time and do it for the team you always um, supported since since a kid? Um, no, it was uh, it was surreal. Like, uh, it was it was really like I I can't explain the exact <laughs> feeling, but I uh, know I really I was really happy and I felt privileged to be able to because I know. Especially with the stormers, like some people, it takes years. It takes like it takes a bit of time to kind of get into this into the setup. And I feel like I felt so happy that I like that they trusted me with mm. with a jersey and like for with the start as well. So I was really honored, and I was like I, I couldn't believe it actually. I was just like like the weeks building up. I like there was nerve. There was like nerves up and I was up and down. Like just making sure that I caught my detail right. <laughs> trying to fit in, but then like everyone's just saying like don't stress about it you'll do fine just like play your game to so, because the rest of it like will come like even though if you mess up don't think about it just yeah. enjoy it because they say the first one it goes like that and it literally did go just like that <laughs> yeah and i mean that's probably a cultural thing as well i mean um i've heard a lot about um john dobson especially talking about the team culture and you've mentioned this um before like don't care about messing up as long as you do you is that the thing that he instilled in you guys or is it something that comes within the team like the the playing group itself i think it's i think it's a good it goes like both ways like hand in hand with each other as like a lot of the players also like they don't like you like they cover each other so mm. so if if someone makes a mistake if he's going hundred percent, they back they'll back you hundred percent. And from the if if it doesn't if it doesn't pay off, then we'll just we'll go back, recover from it, and then start fresh. So it, it's nice because it doesn't limit you as a player, which like which yeah. like so because I know there's some players that's that's like you know they're like they they're quite good like with the offload and stuff like that. So it kind of encourages you like to do those things instead of like kind of sh uh, staying in your shell and like not going out like instead of playing like a safe game, like just just being conservative and not trying new things. But yeah, no, it's like, it's been really good. Yeah, I've actually had this, had this thought lately as well. I mean, um, I'm not going to bash the box on this, but I mean, they play the the typical safe game, but um, they always say you have to limit mistakes. But I've actually thought about it and thought to myself, you know what, you call it a safe game and by all means, I understand it. One of us World Cups and everything. I'm going off topic now, but what I want to say is that even with a safe game, you're still going to make mistakes. As opposed to let guys like you, for instance, you guys, for instance, you just play the game and you get the results. And I'm sure there will be a couple of losses down the road, but that's normal. That's fine. That's life. But I just like the way you guys play, to be honest. And I mean, I think 
I wouldn't say it's the way it should be played at this level, but I mean, they can they can probably take it up a notch as well. <laughs> but in any case, look, um, a year ago, the Storm was waiting through the season. Total underdogs, no one gave them a chance. I think the, the odds of making the playoffs even was 88 to 1, let alone win the competition. And now you, in your first season, um, the second season in your scene now for the Stormers, but you're in a team that has to defend the title. Is it uh, extra pressure on you and the team? Was it something that you guys embrace? Um, funny enough, there's actually we there's actually we don't feel the pressure of like defending or like defending a title. It's more that we kind of getting bit like getting better at like our game, kind of like improving. Like every time we try to, we we have different focus points. So for us, it's just like almost like getting better each week and and finding new focus points to improve us as a as a collective. Whereas like the pressure of, of the title, that's like it it comes along with it, but it's not a big. It doesn't play like a major factor in our in our game or anything like that. It's just we uh, we understand that there's gonna be games that maybe we'll lose or so or or like whatever happens, it's out of our control. But but like initially, it's just we go out there, we, we find our focus points, and if we do well as a team to get those points, then the rest will just come, like winning yeah. games, getting fitting in our structure and all of those, like our game plans. So it's just kind of sticking to the model and see what happens. Yeah, I actually made me think of something, uh, I think of last season as well. Um, The way things started, there were a couple of losses and people didn't give this team a lot of chance, to be honest. And then, like you said, things started sticking. It started working and each week they just got better and better and better until they found themselves in the final and actually winning it. So it's actually very true what you're saying, Mr. Um, But also there's another challenge this team has to face now for the first time and that's playing in the URC and in the um, Champions Cup. Um, have you talked about it? Is there a plan going forward? And um, we're splitting the squad perhaps. Um, what are the, the goals for, for both competitions this season? Um, no, I think with, with, with like... I know with us, they basically just said it's it's going to be like a big squad squad tournament where the, like there will be rotations and everyone will get game time, but it just it depends where where they need it. Like for like for me, for instance, like I know that I'm, I won't be playing this week because there's other guys that's coming in, and I understand that. So it's not you feel you as a player don't feel like they're neglecting you. It's just they there's I mean I I don't know if they say that is about like forty games or something this season where that's a lot of rugby for one person alone. So that so that's why I understand. so that they understand that there's gonna be rotations and some people's gonna have to rest here and there. And with that being said, like people there's gonna be like senior players like maybe like the box who's gonna get their time off as well, who's also like got the mandatory list, which is just like they that and like but essentially the squad depth is gonna have to just play a central role in it. Now, it's like they say, it's a team effort day. So I understand that. I mean, like managing minutes, for instance, is something massive. And I think um, you guys have done very well so far to do it. I mean, you got 15 points so far out of a possible 15. And getting into this one with a few extra Bok players, Leolin's back, taking your spot for the weekend. But that's chilled, obviously. Like, <laughs> you just, like you just mentioned, it's all about rotation and getting these guys game time. Um, but yeah, I mean... Uh, Dabo also mentioned something, and he said that you, Sasha Ngomizulu and Imad Khan, amongst a few other names, are, and I'm going to quote this, the golden generation of Thomas players. I mean, in saying that, you know, what are your goals as being part of this golden generation for for, for the Stormers? Um, For me, like, I think for me, it's just like, like how, it's just kind of getting, like, initially for me, my game time this year, I just had a few goals about, playing varsity cup or so like I like stormers at the end of the year was like I didn't expect that at all so then for me it was just like kind of going up and like trying to get better like each thing trying to improve your skills and also like trying to just get take knowledge from the like the older guys the older players and like kind of just see their perspective on the game and understand like defense like defensive structures and kind of where I can improve my game because I know like with the URC there's is completely different to, I mean, like <laughs> Vasti Cup or S under twenty, where you like it's the smallest, the smallest mistake or the smallest second could go like could cause you to be behind your poles or could like or you could be under their poles. Mm -hmm. So it's just like kind of getting that timing right and kind of making sure that everything just flows. So yeah, that's kind of be my main focus, just kind of getting everything from yeah. the older guys and focusing on my own game. So it's just like. 
like yeah, like connecting those two things and making myself like get better like improving myself yeah that's an interesting thing you're saying there because i mean i think it was against edinburgh yeah you you got your timing right with the in intercept pass you know if you missed that one they would have been scoring on the other end so uh, that was actually pretty cool and that swung the game in our favor to be honest so thanks for that um but i mean you you're like what 19 20 years old now eh still very young oh uh, yeah uh, yeah, I, I turned 19 this year. I turned 19. So you're pretty much a youngster still. But I mean, who are your current rugby heroes and who are the ones you watch growing up as well? Um, geez. Uh, so of uh, the main like the main ones are different. It's like at first it was my brothers. Like they are mm -hmm. like they because I like I mean I got so many brothers and definitely like they were one of them and then also like Sunny Bill Williams. I looked at like because he was like the way he carried himself on on the field and off the field. Like he, he was a very humble guy and you just see like he as yeah. a he had a great character as well. And then with my brothers, it was um like all of them had different experiences through rugby. So like we, if it was injuries, if it was like different unions and like the way they came through as well. So I've kind of learned different like uh, because I've been like I've I've just heard different stories of them and kind of like their knowledge has been passed down to me so I kind of just know these like the smallest the, like the smallest details to it as well so that's like that and it's also um but it's also like in like with Skulk Berger as well like he was one because like I used to like back in the day I actually used to play flank so oh, like okay. so, so, that's so that's yeah, so that's why, um, like, that's where I kind of also look up because, like, his game was also very different. As like, he played he played both the physical and also mm. a bit of off but yeah. Well, you know, I do expect so, you now to make a couple of steals in the breakdown now going forward, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll try my best. Or maybe back down in flank when there's a yellow card um, at, at the forwards as well. You never know. But um, listen, mm. I said I'm not going to keep you for too long, so it's just the last question. Um... And like I said, you're still 19 years old, but there's obviously kids looking up to you now. What advice would you give to them going forward? Um, any sort of advice for the youngsters out there? Um, for me, I think it's definitely don't give up. And I think what what definitely plays a crucial like a crucial role in your in your own development is definitely like kind of win winning the small mental battles as well, like setting small goals for you, even if that's like if that's maybe just like kind of focusing on one thing in training for today and then something new the next day so that you kind of keep improving as a player and it's also that don't like if you get an injury or something don't don't let that like get get you down or something like that because there's going to be time and you never know that might just happen for a reason because later on you might get some like a better outcome from that downtime so yeah and then also just like chase your dreams like no matter what don't give don't, like don't give up like you never know because what like then a different opportunity might just come at your feet and then you see like a few like a few weeks down the line i mean you could be playing wherever like wherever like you could be playing varsity cup or or like junior box or stormers because it's the small the smallest stage like the smaller levels that kind of set you up for the big stage mm -hmm. yeah and then i also like i don't know maybe just I've got this quote that I kind of go by as well. Um, like my brother and I, we have this quote. We say, uh, don't be a victim of your circumstances, but a product of your choices. So basically just like wherever you go, it doesn't matter the circumstances. It's your own choice. What you make, what you do will make the most of the opportunity that you get. So even if that's like, if that if you feel that maybe stopping rugby or go like furthering your studies or something like that, and then returning to rugby later, could be beneficial for you in both ways because then you will, you will be returning to the game again yeah. or if you just go the rugby route like yeah everything will sort itself out at the end of the day i think that's what that's what it's all about yeah but you're what yeah. a guy Suleiman, my man thanks so much for your time i do appreciate it and so good luck with the season i know it's going to be a super long one um but yeah hopefully i'll see you guys in a in a couple of months again around june um in the urc final Again, it would be fun to see you again. Um, so yeah, have a good season, good luck, and all the best, my man. Cheers. Ah, thank you, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day as well. Cheers, Thanks, man. Cheers.